So we've already had a lesson on simplifying rational expressions. Um, these next rational expressions that I'm going to show you how to simplify, we use the same concepts, but I want to make sure to show you some examples um, for them. And these are going to be rational expressions that have things raised to rational exponents also. Okay, so the first one I want to simplify is 4 minus x squared to the 1 half plus x squared times 4 minus x squared to the negative 1 half over 4 minus x squared. And if you look at this, you should see that you have a 4 minus x squared that appears in every single one of our terms. So what I'm going to do is I am going to multiply by what makes the lowest power a 0 here. Okay? So let's look at this. If I had x to the negative 1 half, what would I have to multiply that by? to get x to the 0. Well, when I multiply things together, I am adding my exponents. So I would multiply this one by 1 half, and that would give me x to the 0. x to the 0 is 1 as long as x is not equal to 0. And that's the fact that I'm going to use to simplify some of these. And what that's going to do is it's going to get rid of some of my terms here. Okay, So I'm going to multiply every term by 4 minus x squared to the positive 1 half power, and you're going to see what happens here. So if I multiply this one times 4 minus x squared to the 1 half, 4 minus x squared to the 1 half, and 4 minus x squared to the 1 half. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to simplify this. Notice what you have here. You've got 4 minus x squared to the 1 half times 4 minus x squared to the 1 half. I add the exponents, which leaves me with a 4 minus x squared plus an x squared. Because this part right here is 4 minus x squared to the 0, which is 1. In the denominator, I have 4 minus x squared to the first times 4 minus x squared to the 1 half. 2 halves plus 1 halves is 3 halves. Negative x squared plus x squared is 0, so I am left with 4 over 4 minus x squared to the 3 halves power. Okay? So in this case, I multiplied by what's going to bring my lowest factor to a zeroth power, and that is going to be um, how I simplified that one. Okay? Um, let's do another one that's very similar to this one. Okay, as in it's going to be a fraction with things raised to rational powers. x squared times x squared minus 2 to the negative 1 half plus x squared minus 2 to the positive 1 half all over x squared minus 2. The lowest power of x squared minus 2 I have is to the negative 1 half power. I am going to get rid of that one by multiplying every one of my terms by x squared minus 2 to the 1 half power. And now I'm going to simplify x squared minus 2 to the 1 half times it to the negative 1 half. These two terms are 1, so that leaves me with an x squared. Something 
x squared minus 2 to the 1 half times x squared minus 2 to the 1 half is going to be x squared minus 2 to the first, which is x squared minus 2. Then I have x squared minus 2 to the 1 plus a half is 3 halves. That gives me 2x squared minus 2, which would be 2x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 2 to the 3 halves power. And that's the way, here you may have written just 2x squared minus 2. I would prefer that you wrote it out in this form, and I can continue factoring it. Remember, read your directions. It may ask you to write your final answers in fact, completely factored form. So this would be the completely factored form of that answer. Um, if it does not tell you that, you could have put 2x squared minus 2 over x squared minus 2 to the 3 halves power. You can still use this method even if you do not have fractions. So if I had fractions, I simplified the fraction doing it that way. What I'm going to do now is I am going to factor out the lowest power that appears inside of my, rat, my expression. So here, 1 minus 2x to the negative 3 halves plus 1 minus 2x to the negative 1 half. So the one that's a, the smallest number there is the negative 3 halves. I'm going to call that my common factor, and I'm going to pull that out. And the way that you pull that out is you put it in front with a set of parentheses, and you're going to divide each one of those terms by what you pulled out. Okay, and let's see what we got left. Well, any number minus itself is one, I mean, divided by itself is 1, so this term just has an x. Something to the negative 1 half divided by something to the negative 3 halves, I'm going to subtract because I have a quotient. Negative 1 half minus a minus 3 halves is negative 1 halves plus 3 halves, which is 1. So I have that something to the first power. I have my common factor. 1x minus 2x is negative x plus 1, which would be 1 minus x. So this is the fully factored form of my original expression. So these are other ways that you may go about simplifying some rational expressions or things that have um, rational exponents. Okay, so we had some rational, uh, we had um, fractions with rational exponents, and then we just have some rational exponents. So again, uh, my two methods were to multiply by something that's going to turn the the smallest exponent to a zero, or to pull out that smallest exponent and divide each of my terms by that term with the smallest exponent to um, come up into factored form. Here's a nice easy zero to find, that one right there. Okay, That's why we'd want to be able to do something like this.